2017 seems to be the year of skincare and um, with so many skincare brands knocking about it is hard to know what is right for you. I have always been a believer that there isn't one brand for all your skincare ails. So for something a little bit different I am going to try and prove myself wrong. For the months of July and August I am going to be using one brand and one brand only and as the name of this video suggests I am going to be using Soli Image Skincare. So I am collaborating with the ladies out in Bella and Me in Minute to show you the effects that using just image skincare can have on your skin in a short amount of time. One of the really good things about this is that the ladies in Bella and Me have said that I am to tell you exactly how I feel about every product I use if something is is working or if something is not working because this is the thing with skincare not everything is going to suit you instead of buying what works for a blogger buy what works for you image is a really really active range their products actually work and I mean the products that I have previously used I love but if you buy something that suits me that has been prescribed for my skin it could do damage to your skin or not damage but it won't give you the proper effect that you need to get from spending um, a good chunk of money and if you buy the wrong products for your skin they won't do the job that they need to do and instead they can end up doing damage to your skin so for example if you're buying something that contains a good bit of salicylic acid and you don't have oily skin it's going to really really dry out your skin and it will leave you with a bad impression of the brand I have used image before and any of the products I've used I've really liked but how do you know what works for you well basically through a consultation the ladies in Bella and me will give you a free 50 minute consultation before you buy your product. They will be able to advise you on what products will best suit firstly your budget and secondly your skincare because there's no point going in buying loads and loads of new products when you've already got stuff in your skincare regime that works for you. Although I am using solely image products unless you have a couple of hundred euro to drop that's probably not going to be the case for you. Instead you'll be finding the one or two products to fit into your regime already to fix your skincare ailments that you have. I do have good skin, I'm not going to lie about that, but I do have some issues. So let me take my makeup completely off and show you what my issues are. So this is my skin completely bare. The only thing I have on right now is a lick of mascara so I don't look scaldy eyed. But as you can see, I don't have bad skin as people would like traditionally think of bad skin. So what my problems are, are more relative to me and probably people my age too. So just for reference, I'm 35 and since I had a baby almost a year ago, um, I've noticed that my skin has started aging a little bit more. Now, be it the baby or just be the age what I've noticed is I'm getting quite creppy underneath my eyes wrinkles are definitely creeping in here up and around on my forehead and definitely down around here and what I'm noticing is not only can I see it when I'm bare faced but I can also see it when I put my makeup on because it's beginning to really sit my foundation freely sitting in these lines particularly the under eye area now another issue that I have is I have got a bit of pigmentation again this ramped up definitely when I had a baby because when you're pregnant pigmentation is one of those things that can happen to your skin and mine just didn't go back. Now I was doing a course of laser skin rejuvenation and while I do think it helped while I was doing it I definitely think you need to have an at home plan um, for it to work fully. So as you can see I have pigmentation up around here it's definitely up around my forehead and it's worse on the left side more so than the right. So that is my skin completely bare for the whole of the internet to see but I'm going to put a bit of makeup back on now. So as my skincare issues are pigmentation and aging the ladies in Bella and me have picked out a regime of purely image products to help me battle these problems. They've broken it down into a daytime and a nighttime regime for me so I'm going to start with the daytime products and I'm going to explain what I'm going to be using. This is not a review this is simply just an overview of what I'm going to be using. Instead I will be coming back to you at the end of the summer and I will be giving you my honest thoughts on whether the regime worked for me or not. So I'll start with my daytime regime and I'll go through the products that I'm going to be using. 
I'll start with my daytime regime. Now when it comes to cleansing my skin in the morning, I do not have time to be faffing about at the sink with 25 million different products. I am going to be using your Medic cleanser now. I don't physically have it with me here now, so I'll pop a picture somewhere here. Um, and that is basically what's going to cleanse my face. One of the things with your Medic range worth noting is because of the ingredients included, you can actually use this while pregnant. So next up is eye gel and this will help tackle my under eye crappiness and I'm going to be using the Vital C Hydrating Recovery Gel. Emily, in Bella and me told me to pop this in the fridge so that it'll be nice and cooling under my eyes and will make me feel a little bit more revived in the morning when I'm putting it on. Once I've cleansed my skin, the next order of products is to put my serum on and I am using the Image Aluma Serum. This is actually my second bottle of this and this is really good for battling redness and pigmentation. So this will help with the pigmentation all along um, my under eye, kind of my side of my area and my forehead. So the final thing then in my daytime regime is my moisturiser slash SPF and I'm going to be using the Prevention Moisturiser and this is the Daily Hydrating Moisturiser. Now it turns out I have used this before and I didn't really rate it but the reason for that was I wasn't using the moisturising one so it was feeling quite matte underneath my foundation. I need my moisturiser not to interfere with my foundation because I personally don't have a lot of time to sit and wait for my moisturiser to sink into my skin. This is an SPF 30 so even though we're not always blessed with sunny weather in Ireland we'd still need to wear SPF during the day because the best form of an anti-aging product is in fact prevention itself. So then you have my nighttime regime. First up in my nighttime regime is my cleanser. And again, I will be using your medic cleanser quite a bit during the week, but every maybe second or third day, I will be including the Image Ageless Cleanser. I've actually been using this cleanser for over a year now and I absolutely love it. But the thing with this cleanser is it is quite active. So while it says you can use it every single day, it is advised to use it every second or third day. It is also advised that you only use this at night time because I was using this during the day, but because of the inclusion of glycolic, it's not good to use glycolics during the day and then expose yourself to daylight. But what this will do is this will exfoliate your skin, remove Remove your makeup and help even out your skin tone that little bit more. So once I've cleansed my face, the next up in my nighttime regime again is serum. Now you can use the Aluma serum again at this stage, but because I am looking to help with my fine lines, uh, Emily has included the Ageless Total Pure Hyaluronic Filler for me. Now Emily has promised me that this is like Botox in a jar, so I have high hopes for this one. So where I'm going to be putting this is all along my forehead, my eye area, and down around here, basically where I am aging. I am a big fan of hyaluronic acid, so we'll see how this one goes. And then finally in my nighttime regime to lock everything in, I'm gonna be using the Vital C Hydrating Repair Cream at nighttime. Now, vitamin C is really good for brightening, but this also contains vitamin A, C, and E, and vitamin A is good for anti-aging. So as you can see, a lot of my routine is aimed towards anti-aging and brightening. So there are two more products that I'm going to be using once a week each uh, to help with my pigmentation and my anti-aging. First up is your Medic Balancing Gel Mask, and this is basically gonna give your skin a glow. They say to leave this on for five to 30 minutes one to three times a week um, or wherever you need it and this is suited to all skin types and then the other one this is supposedly pretty potent and um, it's the ageless total resurfacing mask now I'm a little bit nervous of this because this contains alpha hydroxy acids and I have reacted to them before now I'm not too sure whether it was because it was I'm actually allergic to alpha hydroxy acids or if it was the percentage included in the product I used but uh, Emily has told me to put this on my skin to patch test a section first and leave it on for about two minutes. And then, although they say to leave this on for five to 30 minutes, I was told no way to leave it on for that, that the max would be five minutes. So I have to put it on for maybe two minutes for a couple of weeks and then build up from there. But this is basically really, really good for exfoliating and resurfacing your skin. But that is my whole routine for this um, one brand challenge that the girls and Bella and me have Put me on. I think it's really important to note that you do not need all of this stuff. The only reason I'm using all image, as I said, is it's a one brand challenge. You can fit little bits of image skincare into the regime you already have to suit your skin and your budget. As I mentioned already, the ladies at Bella and Me will give you a 15 minute consultation where they will best advise you what will suit your skincare needs. They also mentioned to me that if you are going to be getting any image treatments, you're probably best off going out for a consultation first 
making sure your at home stuff is in order and then getting your um, treatment because getting a facial and not going home with proper skincare is like going to the dentist and not going home with a toothbrush or toothpaste. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the next eight weeks go using just one skincare brand. As I said, I have always been skeptical of using just one brand so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. If you have any questions, you can contact Mary or Emily in Bella and me. I will leave all of their details um, up in the details bar. Um, but yeah, I look forward to talking to you in eight weeks and hopefully I will be looking younger and brighter.